You may or may not know that this year marks the 100th anniversary of the formation of the Royal Air Force, so no doubt you will see more about the RAF at 100 over the coming weeks and months. Yesterday, the 24th of March, I was invited by the East Church Aviation Museum and Historical Research Group of Sittingbourne to a local event marking this Hello. important centenary commemoration, which was held at the East Church Aviation Museum on the Isle of Sheppey. The event commenced with a short parade consisting of members of the Air Training Corps, Sea Cadets, Army Cadets, the Royal British Legion and the Scouting Association. The service commenced with the National Anthem, followed by an address from the Deputy Lieutenant of Kent, Paul Oston. East Church Aviation Museum is something that started from a dream, it's become a reality, and it's now become a focus point on the Isle of Sheppey. Richard Emmert, who chairs the Historical Research Group of Sittingbourne, then took to the stage with a short overview of the historical context of the site and the history surrounding the amalgamation of the Royal Flying Corps and the Royal Naval Air Service into the Royal Air Force, which took place on the 1st of April 1918. This was followed by a ceremony led by Air Training Corps Chaplain Father Kevin Jacobs who was assisted by Father Colin Johnson who gave a blessing for two new plaques, one to mark the centenary of the Royal Air Force and the significant work which took place at East Church and the other to commemorate a new wing of the museum dedicated to the pioneers of the Royal Aero Club, the Royal Naval Air Service and the Royal Flying Corps. After the ceremony, Rear Admiral John Roberts inspected all those taken in the parade, taking time to engage with several younger members of the Air Training Corps, Sea Cadets and Army Cadets, which at times brought a smile to everyone's faces. Eleven? Oh. I haven't grown very much yet. <laughs> This was followed by the formal handover of the two plaques, each carried by an Army and Sea Cadet and handed over to two RAF cadets. The event concluded with a final parade with a salute taken by Paul Oston, Her Majesty's Deputy Lieutenant of Kent. Discover more on sittingborn.me